experiencing the islands of Tahiti, like the first navigators did by sailing through the Polynesian Bays, is the choice that many visitors make each year when they embark on a cruise ship. In Tahiti and its islands, we are very fortunate to receive over 30 ships representing over 1,000 calls a year, and we also have three ships calling year-round in French Polynesia. So for a listing of all available products, uh, locally, first of all, Tahiti Cruise Club has a website which registers all the cruise ships that are calling French Polynesia. And at a worldwide level, we have CLIA, which is the Cruise Lines International Association, which has all the programs for all the cruise ships year round. Taking the time to explore while keeping the comfort of the passengers in mind is the main goal of a cruise in the islands of Tahiti. When you're heading from Tahiti to the Marquesas, it's a three and a half hour flight. So by doing a cruise in our waters, you have 10 days, usually between seven to 10 days in our waters, you allow, you're able to visit all those islands which are hard to reach by a plane. So they really have a chance to experience islands that even some locals have never experienced because it's so far away and so hard to reach. So it is by far the best way to discover such a large area of islands. One hundred and eighteen islands divided into five archipelagos over an area as large as Europe. The islands of Tahiti offers a variety of playgrounds for all types of visitors. There is expedition level people that are going on zodiacs, going scuba diving, going hiking. Now there's other passengers who are maybe less expedition type or more of the regular cruisers which will go on the 4x4 discover our islands. Yeah, we have a diversity of between land and water, which obviously is pristine waters and also we have land experience for all our guests. To ensure the protection of this environment, which is so dear to the population and to visitors, restrictions are in place in order to avoid disturbing the peacefulness of the islands of Tahiti. Sustainability is a big issue right now and we also make sure that that is taken into consideration for French Polynesia. First of all, we don't have big ships. We make sure that the ships calling our islands is catered to that island. So that means if it's a small population, we're not gonna bring a 2,000 passenger ship to a small island. So the average passenger number in French Polynesia is less than 400. We also have like Bora Bora that limited the cruise uh, calls to 1,200 passengers. And as far as the big ships, over 3,500 passengers, they are not allowed to come in French Polynesia except three calls which can accommodate these guests. We try to make sure that the population agrees with the ship calling and not just flooding them with, with cruise vessels. Its untouched lands, its endless beaches and its pristine ocean makes the islands of Tahiti a unique destination for cruising. French Polynesia is different from all other destinations because first of all, we're in the middle of the Polynesian Triangle. It's still a very pristine environment with a lot of destinations. We have over 118 islands and our cruise ships are right now calling only 10 regularly. So there's a lot to discover, a lot of very pristine and everybody's looking for that special place. And I'm sure we have that special place for your clients. <laughs> 